ARM-based Windows laptops suck. They are slower than a regular laptop. They generally don't have a lot of a functionality and when they do, they also struggle with x86 emulation. So that is until I tried the new Asus VivoBook S15 laptop with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor. Now after using this particular laptop for around a week, all I can say is Wow. And I am so impressed with this particular laptop that I am actually thinking very hard of using this particular uh, device as my daily driver. Asus, baka naman. That is high praise for something that used to be reviled by the industry as a whole. Now that's great turnaround. And now with Windows 11, Arm on Windows is at a great place and it's at the point where I can actually recommend this kind of laptop for a regular user. Here are a few reasons why you might actually have a Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite laptop in the near future. Now, the biggest reason why you'd actually want to make the switch to a Qualcomm equipped laptop in the future is battery life. This Asus VivoBook S15 lasted longer than any thin and light laptop I've used this year, save for the latest MacBook Air. Asus is promising an almost unbelievable 18 hour battery endurance on a single charge, but from our test, just looping video until the battery lies out, I got a more believable 11 hours on a single charge. So that's far less than the 18 hour battery life that Asus is claiming on its website. But believe me, that 11 hour battery into us is far better than what I used to get from a laptop or a similar thin and light that is made or is powered by an Intel and AMD processor. Another thing that this particular laptop using ARM is really good at is sleep performance. Sleep performance is when you actually close the lid of your laptop instead of just turning it off all the way. Now, usually what I, I see on an Intel or an AMD powered laptop is the battery, if you're on full charge and you let it sleep, it'll probably last you like a day or a day and a half before you have to charge it or it doesn't wake up from sleep anymore. I've seen this laptop when I put it to sleep, go from 95% to just 85% in a day. That is insane sleep mode performance. So that means longer battery life for you when you are out and about. Another reason you might actually think of making the switch to an ARM-based laptop like the Asus VivoBook S15 is app performance or app availability on the ARM platform is no longer garbage. One of the biggest challenges of previous generation ARM-based laptops was the limited app compatibility on the ARM platform. It used to be that a lot of the apps that you use to do your work or if you're uh, more of a productivity person, those specialized apps do not exist on the ARM platform. That has changed a lot since Windows 11. Microsoft has been working hard with developers to get versions of popular apps working on Windows 11 on ARM. So what works? Well, most of the popular web browsers work without issues, as well as most of the popular messaging apps used by organizations. Microsoft Office works as well, naturally, as well as Google Meet. That doesn't mean that Windows 11 on ARM is perfect sailing. There's a lot of high profile uh, apps that still don't work on this platform. Most notably Adobe Premiere, InDesign, Illustrator, and After Effects don't work on Windows on ARM. If you're a video creator though, you can use DaVinci Resolve, which does work, and surprisingly, both Blender and AutoCAD work, which is good news for 3D modelers and engineers. If the particular program that you use for work or for study is not available uh, on Windows on ARM as a native app, there's always uh, the emulation system of Microsoft, which is called Prism. Now, you will take a, around a 10% performance hit at a minimum when you try to emulate a program through Prism, but honestly, that's something that's acceptable to me. If it runs, at least I can use it instead of it not being you know, accessible at all. But there's still one thing that Windows on ARM, or at least on this current crop of Snapdragon Elite chips can't do, and that is game. 
just finding a game that could run on this thing was challenging. And if it ran, you're gonna get hit by multiple screen freezes, lag, as well as a lot of stuttering. And if you do find a game that actually runs well, you're not really going to get frame rates above 60 frames per second. You're pretty much going to be at around 30 frames per second at 720p. The Adreno chip on this particular uh, processor isn't really cut out for x86 gaming. One silver lining here is that it's early days for Microsoft's ARM push and the horrendous performance might improve as Windows 11's emulation software matures. One can hope. As far as the actual laptop itself, it's great. It has an aluminum chassis. It has a 15.6 inch OLED panel, very high resolution DCI-P3, sRGB coverage 100%, no issues there whatsoever. The HDR10, 120 hertz refresh rate. It's really one of the nicest panels that I've seen on a machine of this caliber. It is really a premium laptop with a premium display. There's plenty of ports available as well, including two USB-C and two USB type A ports, as well as a micro SD slot and an HDMI port. The one of those type C ports will be occupied when you're charging a laptop. The keyboard feels great to type on and there's a number pad, although it is incredibly cramped on the side for those of you who needs it. I'm really impressed by the Asus VivoBook S15 as well as Windows 11 on ARM and the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processors, but there are certain things that you really do have to look out for if you're taking a look at this laptop as a replacement or as an upgrade to your previous device. There are still a lot of programs out there that are used by industry professionals that either don't work on this platform or isn't as optimized as it should. Game performance is another thing that really needs to be looked at and worked on by Microsoft for Windows on ARM to succeed because this thing being beaten by integrated graphics on processors that are more than five years old isn't a good look for Qualcomm. With that all being said, I am really optimistic about the future of Windows 11 on ARM, especially if you are looking for a laptop that can do a little lot of productivity tasks with a little bit of uh, media consumption on the side. But if you are a programmer, if you are a video editor, or if you are a gamer, for example, uh, I'm not really going to recommend this particular laptop yet. That actually might change as Windows uh, patch up all of the software flaws of uh, Windows 11 on ARM. You know, it's early days and we might actually see a lot more progress on this particular front. So that is it for me for this video. I will be using this particular laptop for quite a bit more. Uh, Asus, this is mine, I'm joking. But I'm gonna be using this for a little bit more time. So if you have any additional questions, put them down below. Uh, once Asus launches or officially launches this particular laptop in the Philippine market, we'll be putting the price of this laptop in the pinned comment section. That is it for me and I'll see you on the next video.